Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I cannot believe we're sitting here filming my 36 week update. officially nine months pregnant officially it's crazy i feel like this pregnancy went by so fast if you guys are new my name is daisy i am pregnant with baby number two i have a little boy he's two and now i'm pregnant with a little girl and she literally could come any minute like i feel like we're officially on baby watch and I'm stressed. I'm so like nervous. I don't know why. I feel like I wasn't nervous all these months and now that it's like crunch time, whoo, makes my heart pump so fast. But I just want to say this isn't like a typical update. This is more of just how I'm feeling mentally and kind of like physically I guess. But I'm not going to really go into any specifics. We can see if the app has anything about baby. But I haven't seen my doctor, so I don't have any of those kind of like facts for you guys. I haven't been weighed. I don't know any of that. If you guys want to see like any weight updates or if I'm like dilated or any of that kind of stuff, that's going to be in the next update because by the time I'm 37 weeks, I will have seen my doctor. So then I can give you guys like a medical update, I guess. But for this video, I'm just going to talk about how I'm feeling mentally and physically and what's going on in my life. Also in my last few updates I have gotten a few questions surprisingly I'm, I'm really happy you guys are curious about things so I'm gonna go back to those videos and see what questions you guys had so I can answer them in this update for you guys I guess I'll just start with where I'm at for preparing for baby um, I feel like I've pretty much ordered everything there's just like these tiny last few things I need to order so I'm gonna just place like one fat Amazon Prime order and hopefully be done um, as for like postpartum and antepartum, I haven't quite gotten everything so I'm hoping I can do that so that I can pack my hospital bag and my diaper bag. I know, I'm, I'm cutting it close guys. I haven't done either of those. I'm hoping to do them this week so hopefully before my 37 week update goes up, those videos will be up. I'm hoping. <laughs> we'll see. I'm, I'm nine months pregnant so I'm just really like i'm not up for much i don't want to do much i don't want to go anywhere i just want to chill like my 23rd birthday just passed a few days ago and i don't feel like doing anything i didn't feel like going out really um if you want to check out the vlog i'll leave it down below i also did post a 500 subscribers giveaway that should still be open by the time you guys are watching this so i'll leave that down below too if you guys want to check it out and enter but I just, I want to be home. I just want to be a potato at home. That's all I want to do. I'm still nesting super badly. But I am so pregnant that it's just so hard for me to like do everything that I can, you know? Like you have the mentality of like, let's get all this done. But physically, I can't. I'm just like, whew, I'm out of breath. And I do have a toddler running around. So it's just like kind of hard for me to just focus on my tasks that's why it's taking me so long to get things done but I'm working on it and I'm lucky that I have friends and family that are offering here and there to watch Jaden even if it's just for an hour or two like it helps me out a lot to get things done I try to film as much as I can on the weekends and then during the week I'm home with my son and we're kind of getting back into a routine just because I'm just still adjusting from not going to work it's kind of weird um but i mean we're almost there we're getting there and i still have yet to fully finish organizing all baby girl stuff but i definitely need to do that soon and i'm gonna film it and i want to get a video to show you guys how i did it as for Jaden, we finally bought him his toy that is going to be from his baby sister so i just need to wrap that up 
keep all that stuff in the trunk so I, I still have my work cut out for me but ooh, this little girl though let's I guess she wants to be the star right now so I have yet to get her movements on camera I'm so sorry guys she just like doesn't she doesn't like to be on camera she doesn't like people to feel her but she's still super active so crazy active she likes to hang out on the right side of my stomach so yeah I just felt her moving a bit but she, she's just an active little baby this time around we didn't do the 3d ultrasounds or the 4d or whatever we didn't do any of that so we have no idea how she looks <laughs> like not even a small idea like we don't know <laughs> like with Jaden I think I don't remember if it was like 32 33 34 35 I don't remember but we got like the 3d ultrasound done and like you could see like their face their details and it was so cool to kind of get an idea of what he was gonna look like but with baby girl we like don't have any idea I'm assuming she's gonna look similar to like what Jaden looks like I feel like we're just gonna have like another Jaden but with a bow you know just add a bow on there <laughs> that's what I feel like um I don't know physically no swollen feet I haven't had much of an appetite still I kind of just don't get hungry I know I need to eat I at least try to just drink water even when I'm not hungry I haven't really been feeling too much discomfort I mean besides like being out of breath all the time and needing to pee a lot I don't feel too much discomfort other than like my pelvic bone hurts like a bitch <laughs> I'm gonna be so honest with you guys it it just feels like one of the worst pains I don't know how to explain it it's horrible like you'd think laying in bed and like just turning from side to side wouldn't be mission impossible but it is and that's just like the one symptom that I probably complain about in every single weekly update but that's just like the main thing that's like killing me <laughs> like literally it hurts like so bad someone asked do I have any stretch marks and am I using anything for them I do have stretch marks I got plenty of stretch marks with my first pregnancy but luckily they did fade and they just turned white so they weren't that noticeable they're really still not that noticeable but as for this pregnancy yeah i feel like i just recently like this past week started getting like the darker stretch marks they're not like long they're just pretty short and dark i've been getting those on my like back area right here and where else oh like right on the like top of my belly button i have a few but other than that i haven't had any really new ones i don't think it is what it is like i've accepted it your first pregnancy is really hard to see those stretch marks but your second one you know you know what to expect am i using anything for them i'm not i'm horrible i should just i haven't been taking my prenatals and i haven't been using my stretch mark anything moisturizers or anything with my first pregnancy i used the Moderma, which is pretty expensive i don't even know if it worked i don't know the only thing that i ever really used for this pregnancy was coconut oil and it's actually been like a month or two since I've used it which is just because I'm lazy but I should have been using it because my stomach was really itchy the past like month so maybe I'll start using it I'm just a very lazy person and I don't have the energy but that's the only thing that I really use this pregnancy at all did you do maternity photos or a belly cast no <laughs> I haven't done either of those guys I'm like slacking I don't even think I'm gonna get to do maternity photo shoots but I have taken like a few pictures with my belly. They're just not like super professional or anything. But if you guys want to see those, you can check out my Instagram. They're on there. And belly casts. I'm not really into doing belly casts. I think it's like, I mean, it's cool and all. But like, what do you do with it once it's molded? Like, I don't want to hang that in my room. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I feel like it would just remind you of like, damn, I was huge. You know, like, I don't know. But if you like those, good for you. It's just not my cup of tea, I guess. Do you have any embarrassing symptoms <laughs> like loss of gas, farting, burping, or just anything embarrassing in general? Um, no, I feel like my gas and my farting is normal as always. <laughs> like nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. But I do have something embarrassing. Not embarrassing, but just like something that not everyone talks about. But I literally like 
If I don't make it to the restroom in time, I will pee my pants. I've done it multiple times and it's only getting worse. I feel like I pee myself at least once a day. It's embarrassing, but I don't work anymore, so I'm home. I can easily just, you know, clean myself. But like, yeah, that's the thing, guys. So much laundry because I have to change my bottoms like at least once or twice a day. Have you ever had anyone ask to rub or touch your bump? I have had people ask me. Um, it's mostly like family though, so they always ask. They put their hands, they don't feel anything. And I'm like, yeah, she's just not gonna move for anyone. Like, my baby is so stubborn. Um, they asked, how do I feel about belly touches? I don't mind if I know the person. He has asked what brand of diapers we plan on using. Um, I'm going to be using Pampers Swaddlers for the first few months and then after that I will decide if I want to switch to a different brand. Alright guys, yeah, that looks like it's about all the questions that I got. If you guys have anything else that you want to know, just comment. If the camera angle looks different, I just got interrupted so I'm sorry. But um, yeah, I was just closing out the video. So I want to say if you guys have any questions or anything you want to know, comment them down below and I will get to it in my next update hopefully. Um, let's just get into the bump shot, but I want to say thank you for watching and if you guys like this Give it a thumbs up if you're excited give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and let's just get into the bump shot Hey guys, this is my 36 week bump shot Um, if my stomach looks like if these leggings look weird, it's because these are not Maternity leggings they're normal so they don't have like the extra fabric. They don't go as high as my other ones so that's why it looks like this. But yeah, this is what my bump looks like for 36 weeks. I feel like it's just big. It was big last week. It's this week. It's just as big. I don't know. I feel like I'm just huge, period. So I can't really notice it getting any bigger. It just feels like it's been big and it's going to stay big until I give birth. But this is what it looks like. Um, still very, very firm right up here um i don't know if you guys can see my stretch marks but these are like mostly from Jaden, so that is what it is i'm like over them i don't even care but yeah that's my bump shot so this is this is the bump <laughs>